Ah, oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Poglo Escobar, and today we'll be taking a look at the Karen Previon, uh, retailing for a price of 1.1 or 1.5 million dollars, and I'm sure you'll agree it's uh, more mundane than a Monday morning on mood medicine. Okay, well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take it out, this is the unupgraded version, and we're going to see how she handles. Okay, so acceleration, can't really judge it up that hill, don't know why we start here, I guess that's where the house is, you know. Okay. Okay, handling ladies and gentlemen okay this is where it gets interesting now okay so the uh, the preview on ladies and gentlemen does have very good handling back end does sort of want to slide out on you there so you've got to watch you know uh, back end's a little wayward ladies and gentlemen uh, but uh, the handling is very responsive very fine handling ladies and gentlemen top end speed okay we're only just sort of making it down to the bottom of the hill there that's not particularly uh, that's not particularly good sign okay never mind ladies and gentlemen okay so uh, we're going to take it on back onto the street and uh, take it on down check out the stability and the top end speed once again so stability ladies and gentlemen not very good like i say i am more than willing to uh, slide away on you if you're not uh, watching what you're doing top end speed ladies and gentlemen yes i mean we are sort of moving aren't we but i mean it's, let's be honest it's slower than a legless donkey on a space hopper but this is the unupgraded version ladies and gentlemen so we're going to take it on our background to the maze bank offices and we'll come to that right hard right hand corner we're going to have to break rather heavily we've got ground there no problem whatsoever uh, we're going to bring it on uh back ladies and gentlemen to the maze bank offices and we're going to send it on inside and have the vehicle modified okay so what can we say uh, right, straight out of the box as they say ladies and gentlemen uh, uh acceleration poor top end speed poor handling not too bad to be quite honest with you okay so here we go ladies and gentlemen we have brought the vehicle on into the custom auto shop as doubtlessly you can see if you are paying attention hmm? paying attention hmm? are you well yeah i do hope that you are because as doubtlessly you can see there are really a rather a lot of modifications that can be affected to this particular vehicle okay then so uh here we go we're just going through our look at now now uh, just a uh, full point of interest ladies and gentlemen we will be going through this section of the video at double speed as we always do uh just in order to hurry things along somewhat but still provide you the viewer with the opportunity to have a look at the different uh, aesthetic modifications that can be affected to this vehicle should you then choose to go ahead and purchase it uh, and uh, we have uh, also uh, ladies and gentlemen it's worth pointing out that uh, in the interest of brevity ladies and gentlemen yeah, we have uh, sort of uh, uh, sort of cut out the uh, the normal performance related upgrades in terms of uh, turbo transmission suspension uh, engine tuning and such forth okay well here we go ladies and gentlemen we are now hopefully going to be coming on to the colors and there we go that indicates to uh, that we are now approaching the end of this section of the video so we've had a look at the, uh, the different uh, Modif uh, modifications that can be affected to the vehicle later. The vehicle has been upgraded fully across the board now. And we're going to send it back out onto the street and see how she handles. Okay, so this is the uh, the Karen uh, Previon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look at that acceleration. And uh, yes, it's more underwhelming than a ballet performed by a bunch of blind sea lions now, isn't it? Let's be quite frank about these things. Handling, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it's more responsive than, a, than an ambulance department at an English football final. You know, it really is that responsive. And uh, in terms of top-end speed, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, no, I mean, it's sort of, it's more underperforming than an impotent schoolboy with premature ejaculation problems. Okay, that acceleration one more time, and I can, I'm sure you can see, ladies and gentlemen, it's more lacking than Boris Johnson's sense of dignity. Uh, as is the top end speed ladies and gentlemen i mean it's just i mean it's just as disappointing as watching a porno with the queen in it you know it is just that disappointing okay well the handling is about the only area ladies and gentlemen where this car shines it is uh, it's it's sharper than a sicilian uh, sense of style you know whoops something blowing up behind us there okay so uh you can always bring these vehicles should you so choose down to the ls car meet ladies and gentlemen where you can go and ruin the performance entirely by adding uh low grip tires okay so these are two uh, Karen Previons, ladies and gentlemen, both in the default stance. Mr. Raccoon has got its standard tires. I myself have got the low grip tires. As you can see, low grip tires impede the acceleration dramatically and they also improve top end speed dramatically, ladies and gentlemen. So you may think that's pretty much an end of it. Go for the low grip tires. But no, the simple truth is low grip tires give you low grip. And so when you come to trying to take a corner, ladies and gentlemen, you don't stand a sodding chance and uh, your competitor's going to make it round no problem whatsoever and you're going to sit there like a fool. Don't go for the low grip tires. Okay, so the top speed test track, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to see what we can uh, get down here. Now, just for an indication, what we consider competitive time is 53.54 seconds, and what we're going to get in the carrier, uh, the Karen Previon. 
Okay, 57.8, so not competitive, ladies and gentlemen, not even on the outside edge, really. Uh, the next question, ladies and gentlemen, is the stance, ladies and gentlemen, these new cars do come with a standard stance and a lowered stance, you know, a default and a standard stance. We've got two uh, Previons, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you can see, Mr. Raccoon in his, uh, I myself in mine. Uh, Mr. Raccoon is in the lowered stance, I am in the uh, default stance, and uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. So, uh, very often, ladies and gentlemen, it does turn out that the lowered stance uh, does provide you with a uh, greater speed, but reduces handling, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on this occasion, it just seems to reduce handling, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, we'll be running all of these tests in the default stance, don't you know? Okay, so the first vehicle that we're going to bring out, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start at the bottom of the pack. Uh, this is the Ocelot Lynx, retailing for a price of $1,735,000, and it really is a shocking, woeful disappointment, ladies and gentlemen. It loses to absolutely everything we've ever put it against around the track, and it's no surprise, ladies and gentlemen, that we're going to catch it and take it in the corner there uh, and get down uh, in front of it. Okay, so like I say, ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolutely wretched car. It loses uh, the Ocelot Lynx there. It loses to absolutely uh, everything that we've ever put it against. And I'm sure you'll agree that it's a, a terribly worrying sign that it's pulling alongside us and crossing the line ahead of us there. Okay, not good, not a good start, ladies and gentlemen, not a good start. Okay, so uh, the next vehicle we're bringing out, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Anis Elegy Retro, don't you know? It is a free car. You can get the Retro for free. Uh, I believe the upgraded version is around about $900,000, uh, $900, ladies and gentlemen. Space in the skyline, presumably, has got absolutely fantastic acceleration, ladies and gentlemen. Made it up to the top of the corner and around the corner and down the back straight in front of us all the way ladies and gentlemen no problem whatsoever uh, and that's because like i say this uh this car in terms of acceleration it's got i mean it's like a tortoise with an ingrown toenail it really is that doesn't go up for okay so uh, the next vehicle we're coming out ladies and gentlemen it's another retro don't you know we're going retro today which is uh and uh, it's going to be a fister ladies and gentlemen it's the fister comet retro don't you know uh retailing for seven hundred forty five thousand dollars i do believe uh and uh yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, uh, that's, uh, you can see it there, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, we sort of fall up to the top there, ladies and gentlemen, and we got around the corner in front of it, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to, uh, it's going to come past us. So, uh, so far, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not keeping score, the Previon is losing to absolutely everything we're putting it against, and that really is rather disappointing. So we're going to taunt it somewhat, ladies and gentlemen, by bringing out the, uh, a car's been released relatively recently, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Karen Salted RS Classic, don't you know? Retailing for a price of uh, 1.3 or 1.8 million dollars, depending on whether you buy it now with the trade price, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely fantastic acceleration is going to destroy the Previon. So, as uh, this opportunity to point out that all of the other vehicles will be and are being driven by Mr. Raccoon, you know, his name is the Bromby. Uh, he has a channel of his own, it is called the Bromby. If you'd have that into YouTube, you should go and find him. One you that I've got some rather good videos on there. Okay, so the Previon losing to the Karen RS Classic, ladies and gentlemen. And the next vehicle we're bringing out, I've got no idea the price of this one I do uh, I, I, I have to inform you I'm afraid and uh, yes either way it's the Tinker Jester classic uh, we bought this out we consider it to be a more uh, you know a broadly similar time period ladies and gentlemen uh, I bought the RS uh, classic you know, actually quite frankly but there we go either way ladies and gentlemen uh, the Tinker Jester classic is sat in front of uh, the Karen Previ on there and yes that really is uh, I mean it's like I say it's losing to absolutely sodding everything that's quite frank about these things and it's becoming uh, somewhat of a you know, a woeful and wretched disappointment. Okay, so the next vehicle we're bringing out, ladies and gentlemen, is what we like to refer to as a serious contender, ladies and gentlemen, for the hoes at home, for the uninitiated, that is to say, for uh, those people who are not aware, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Benefactor Serrano, retailing for a price of $110,000 only at the bottom end uh, Benefactor, you may well think, well, what's it going to do? That's what it's going to do, ladies and gentlemen. It's got a consistent habit of doing it to all sorts of different vehicles you wouldn't expect. So if you weren't aware of the Benefactor Serrano, ladies and gentlemen, you are now. And, uh, okay, listen, we are going to start wrapping things up. This is, of course, what Mr. Raccoon likes to refer to as big. Daddy Z, and I do not blame him one little bit. It is, of course, ladies and gentlemen, the Pegasi Zentorno. $725,000 for this particular supercar, ladies and gentlemen, and it will annihilate so many of uh, these competitors, ladies and gentlemen, of a uh, much more uh, sort of stiff and steep price tag. Uh, we do love the Zentorno, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't own one, go and buy one and go and buy a Serrano too and put them up against each other and see what happens and you'll be uh, mortified. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're bringing it on. It is, of course, 
course now uh, the final masquerade this is ladies and gentlemen the Garotti Itali RSX it is going to make absolute mincemeat of the Previon as every other vehicle has done and we uphold, uphold the RSX to be the best car in the game for the time being so there we go okay so what can we say about the Previon ladies and gentlemen well in terms of looks it's more 1990s than Noel Gallagher let's be quite frank about these things you know I mean it doesn't uh, it's, it's looking very outdated nowadays uh, in terms of handling ladies and gentlemen the back is going to come away with it's on the back sort of it's more wayward than Ariana Grande's rear end you know I love this vehicle ladies and gentlemen and it's got good handling but it's a wretched disappointment can't be sure what Mr. Raccoon thinks of it though you know can't get an inkling I wonder uh, you know I've got a sneaking suspicion that uh, the Raccoon just may like it what do you say Mr. Raccoon do you like the Previon no no I don't think he does okay well I do hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching